Okay, we're gonna go to Charlie's Fishing Supply today for our line for the reel. Okay, we're at Charlie's Fishing Supply. We are spooling what is recommended to be the, the best 40 pound braid. This is Jerry Brown braid. So we're gonna um, see how many yards the 6,000 spool will take with this. Hey, aloha guys. This is Chris from Hawaii. And this is a 10 live liter reel. It's a 6,000 model. They call this the LL model. LL stands for live leader. This is very, live leaders are very popular in Europe where they fish for carp because they, they want the fish to swallow the bait first and run. And this way you can set the hook. This allows for a better hookup. Not many people here in Hawaii use this type of system. I've been using this with another type of reel, which they call a bait feeder system. And Penn just came out with an LL version for the 6000, which is a live leader. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use the live leader reel. We're going to put some line on it today. We're going to take it downtown, put some line on it, try it out later on. So we're going to first put the handle on. Maybe it's this way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Pretty sharp looking reel. I was thinking about putting maybe some braid on this instead of mono. The difference between mono and braid, mono stretches. So you can go with uh, lighter tests, but I prefer the braid. Braid may not braid will not stretch. Braid will snap under a lot of pressure but I was thinking about going maybe 40 pound braid but we'll see what we're gonna do but this is what the reel looks like um, when you dunk it when you dunk and cast what you want to do is you want to let the fish swallow the bait and live leader has this switch in the back here so when you flick it up like that you engage the secondary drag system it's a micro drag system so you can tighten or lower the drag system. So what happens when the fish hits the bait and swallows the bait? You want it to run for a little while to swallow the bait. And this was set to drag, but what's good about this is that the, the line will not backlash. And when you feel that enough time is set, usually like for me, it's about six, seven seconds, flick the switch, boom. It sets it to the full drag setting of the original front here, and you're gonna get a good solid hookup. So we're gonna go to town today. We're gonna to put some line on this, and then we're gonna put it on a selected rod. I'm not sure what type of rod yet, and we're gonna give this a try. Thank you. Okay, I got a crab for bait. I'm gonna be using the new pin 6000 Fierce. This is the new live liner. So what it is, is that you got your first drag system here. This is a secondary drag system. It's like a um, tension, tension just for the bait. So what you do is you flick the switch up like that. You turn it to the left to make it looser. Turn it to the right to tighten it up. That will set your secondary drag. So when something grabs that crab and takes off, it's gonna yank this, but not know it's hooked yet. That's the whole reason for it. So you, you kind of want to set at least maybe about two pounds about just about there it's half about two pounds and that's what we want flick it back now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cast out the crab and we're gonna flick this up and that will set the secondary drag system when something hits then we flick it back and it goes back to the first drag system for full power this way it ensures a better hookup. See what happens. 